Hello everyone, this is Jeffrey G297 and welcome to the video. Uh, a few days ago I made a video on the Lancer Delta FH with a Nismo engine. Um, uh, just a while ago I just found a much better setup uh, that I have made up. Uh, at the end of the episode I will show you the setup and what parts you need for the car for it to work. Um, but I will go ahead and say that the car with this setup feels really well feels really smooth. Um, at the beginning of the race it will have a little tight feel to it but once the track dries up the uh, car itself will drive a lot better and a lot smoother. Um, as you can see here the car has plenty of grip um, so you don't have to worry about uh, not spin out the car. Um, with this setup uh, the car is all-wheel drive so it does help a whole lot on the handling basis in my opinion as we are making our way through the field um, like I recommend uh, in most cases uh, but for this particular race first lap be on field map 6 till the end of the first lap and then go to field map 2 and you will going to be in field map 2 for the rest of the race um, but as you can see here, we're now at P4, so we made a nice dive bomb to pick up three spots on the other cars before making it to the bridge. Uh, but yeah, this is a really good tune setup. Um, if you have the car and the engine, I do recommend uh, this setup. Um, but it's a lot, lot of fun to drive. It just feels very planted. Uh, wherever you put the car at, they'll stay at it. It doesn't get loose. Uh, just make sure you brake very early uh, because you'll see here, even with the brakes, it still carries a lot of speed into the turn as we die bomb our way to the lead. Um, when the track dries up for the tight right hairpin, you're going to stay in second gear and then get back to power and go to third gear and make your way. Uh, all the way to the main straightaway and that's basically it for Tokyo for our lap uh, so as you can see we're going to be on fuel map 2 and if you stay on this path you'll then pit on lap 7 um, I do recommend coming in uh, not only get fuel only but also change your tires I uh, know the rears are in good shape but it's just the front tires that are pretty well worn so after you change the tires you just want to pass the little diamond on the fuel and then you'll be back on your way to Tokyo uh, be back on the track um, as you can see we had a very comfortable lead from the second place car and then you'll see here as we pass forward to the last lap we lap the 14th place car so I was able to lap the Jaguar and the Viper or reaching to the Aston Martin. Um, so yeah, that's basically it for this car. It's a really good setup. You can see our average lap is about 206 each lap. So this is a really good fast uh, setup here if you don't have the Alpine or the GT40. So here's the setup. Uh, feel free to pause the video. The only thing that made a huge difference was the sp suspension uh, and the brakes system. As you can see, it's no normal. But here's all the stuff you guys need. And here are the parts that you'll need. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys on the next episode.